Lieutenant Surge plays the Shotos, Vinny plays Duck Hunt. So you got a good mix of like, hey, we have a zoner, we have uh, a close combat specialist, we got you no know, top tiers, we got you no know, the the weird gimmicky characters too. You know. Yeah, gives you a, a good balance out, but Larry Lair gonna go against Dark Pit, and you know Larry definitely has the matchup knowledge for this one, courtesy of Careflex. Uh, oh yeah. It's just it's just the struggle. Like Falco, the thing with like Pits, if you haven't heard by now, it's it's like so many famous with Pit players. He's too honest of a character. He doesn't excel in a, in, a, in a certain area. I feel like Pit is like the jack of all trades. Like all these tools are good, but they're just good. And that's the problem. Like especially in Smash Ultimate, you need to excel in something. Right. Like, Falco doesn't have a neutral, but his edge guard and his arrow conversions are absolutely nuts. And Larry Lair has been showing that off. You know, showing off the Falco and all the spaces with Wolf. But unfortunately, this is uh, mid tier, so you're unable to get that. But Guile, Nigga Bro did a good job, is controlling this kind of this mid game area and this neutral. Trying to space it out with the aerials, but do you remember? Oh my goodness! Gets it up with the back air conversion. Snuggly survives, but he calls it out knowing the ship will drop, but he's still alive. Trying to snipe him out with the laser, but 121%. Larry and Lair knows he just needs one good conversion to finish the stock, but if Guile, if he manages to get the air, he manages to get it, but. It's really hard to deal with Falco. Oh my god, yeah, that up tilt, it just combos into itself, it combos into up airs at low percent, and then we saw it there, like, even if he was outside of the back air percentage range, no, up air is still connected, and the one the one dishonest thing that the pits do have is that side B. Yeah. That side B kills super early, but oh my god. it's almost like a slightly better Falcon Punch, in the sense that, like, if you hit the shield, you're probably gonna, like, get a super hard punish for it, but... There is some leeway with it, especially if you do it like in the air, because you can drift back afterwards. So it's not as bad, but still, if you can manage to find uh, your opponent off guard, you can steal stock super early with it. Yeah, he's slowly whittling him down, though, but Larry <laughs> <laughs> almost instantly shuts it down, trying to go for an edge guard, times it perfectly with the rising bear. Gets back onto stage and he's gonna try to do it one more time, but jumps a little too high, but just waiting for the ledge trap up there, not percentage. And Guile barely hanging out with the end of his life with that last hit of that bear. 134%. Oh my god, he's just getting pelted with lasers and the back of the foot to the face. Yeah. I like what Larry did right there. He scooted back just a little bit because he knows that Guile loves to press a button off of ledge. You know, it, it was either neutral B or Nair or, or like Dare. So he knew, like, okay, you're gonna do aerial jump something, you know, and I'm going to space myself so I can just whip you out with a, a back air. And also a common habit, uh, a lot of hit players, they like to use multiple jumps before they land. They don't like to immediate land, try to space something out, but oh my goodness, 83%, it's not going to stop Larry Lair from doing anything. He's calling him out with these ledge traps as well. I mean, the pits, like we said earlier, just linear options. Right. That's just like the weakness of them. I mean, your two best approach options is what? Oh, up smash actually connected for once. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, the pits, their their main advantage is that their aerials are almost lagless to a certain extent if you, like, space them correctly. So their game plan is, I'm going to whiff punish you, right? But Larry is one of those players where he's not going to fall for any whiff punishes. Like, he's not going to fall for any of the baits. And so when you're playing a, a super honest character like Pit, who has to, like, hope that your opponent messes up, if your opponent just doesn't mess up, doesn't overcommit to something, then the pits are, are going to struggle to find their way in. Uh, that's the veteran player. Yep. That's uh, Larry Lur, who's the, the boomer of SoCal. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's his age and it's just his experience too. Like his matchup knowledge, his just mentality has been so strong oh. and been really showing like what SoCal can do. Almost won against MP Leo at Genesis. I didn't take it, but Gaio overextending really hard. And I just realized that he went so deep for that, but only a 9% for his troubles. <laughs> Ooh, I love that, using the orbiters to just land safely, but does not follow the tech roll on the on the option. So then Larry managed to sneak in an uptail and now kind of break his momentum. I think one of the biggest problems, too, is that the two, the, like I said earlier, the two best options that you have as a pit is like dash stack and dash grab. And both can be avoided by doing simply a spot on, which Larry has been doing quite a bit. And he's just, when he knows he's in the air, he just uses an up smash as a landing, as catching the landing. Or he just simply shields it out, knowing that that Nair, you know, can be easily punished when Guile spaces out like that. Right. Ooh, caught the double jump. He needs to find a kill, but no, he tried reading it low, and no, Larry just said, okay, I see where you're going with that. Let me recover immediately. 
tries to go for a drag down attempt, but Larry himself goes for it. Remember the up tilt? Oh, goodness, he's going to oh. go for the spike? No, he didn't. Oh, but there we go. That's the that's the clean, clean kill that he needed. Hopefully get the momentum in his control. Oh, yes. goodness, the down tilt reached him. He wants to go for something, but great air dodge from Larry to get away from that, but the easy up tilt. Right. Into the conversion itself, and Larry is controlling this match. And I just, I just realized that guy will switch to regular. Oh my God! All the side Bs, and it's gonna get punished eventually. Yeah, it's like it reminds me of the good times of Brawl. You do the high A A R. High A A R. Oh. What are you swinging at? Uh, he he caught him in shield, so Larry just bam roll. Like, looking at the action himself, but Larry Larry controlling this smash hits the shield. This is pass through it anymore, but the landing hitbox catching him off guard, Gaio. He's trying to use these aerial options. It's just Larry Lurs is just so much better frame data wise and hitbox. Oh, there's the up tilt uh, down air. Not going to be able to finish it off, but he's looking for this kill. He's looking for it. Gets the up air back. Oh, doesn't find the back air. Just manages to jump out of it barely in time. Awesome yeah. Managed to recover. That was an opportunity for Gaio to get something done, but air dodges immediately and he's chasing him down. He's throwing up the shield options as Larry Lurr starts to realize it. Remember, it slowly does go lower in the air. Won't kill just yet. This is the tip of the corner. Larry Lurr trying to call something out, but on him to find anything. But he rolls right into him. Larry Lurr. Oh, no. Guy's going to need the bear. Oh, gets the arrow oh. gimps. And there and it is. Go. Yep. And I love that. I feel like that's why he switched to the pit, is just because with better air control, he can kind of stuff out Falco's recovery a lot easier. I do realize Gaio makes one wrong move, mm -hmm. and he's done for. Right. But conversely, if he can get one solid edge guard, he can steal a stock super early. So this is, I was about to say, not out of the possibility of him making the comeback. But you know what? A quick down tilt just to say 